I've just created my own search solution in a matter of minutes, and I'm going to show you how to do exactly the same using Amazon Open Search Service in AWS. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Johnny Chivers, and I am an AWS Solutions Architect with over 10 years experience. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Amazon Open Search Service in AWS, and how you can use that to build your own search solution in a matter of minutes. Don't worry if you're brand new to Open Search or AWS, I'm gonna take you through everything you need step by step. First, we're gonna cover a little bit of theory on what the Open Search service is, and then we'll dive into the console and get hands-on where we'll build our own search index and we'll then search the data that we upload using APIs and a user interface on our computers. With that all being said, I'll make all the resources you need for free, which will be available in the links in the description below. I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe to the channel, as that really helps me out. Now let's look at a little bit of theory before we get hands-on on the AWS console. What is the Amazon Open Search Service on AWS? Amazon Search Service is a full analytics and search engine brought to us by AWS. A managed service is where AWS do some of the heavy lifting for us. In this case, AWS look after provisioning the nodes that we run our search service on, ensuring that they are healthy and installing the open search software onto those nodes so we can build a search and analytics solution without having to manage all that underlying infrastructure ourselves. OpenSearch has numerous features, including the ability to attach three pair of bits of memory, integrate with your Amazon IAM permissions, and have a UI where search can be carried out by users who don't want to interact with it through code. Well, how does this all work? We have a main node in OpenSearch that then has data nodes attached to it. We upload the information that we want to search. That information is known as a document, and that gets uploaded to an index. So we add documents to indexes. Once in the index, we can search that through the API by sending requests from our client to the open search cluster, or we can use the UI. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do both. I am gonna show you how to access the data through the API and through the UI. The first thing we're gonna do is build that cluster out. Then we're gonna upload a document to an index that we will create, and then we're gonna search that index. That is the very basic theory of open search, and that's just enough to let us jump onto the console and start building search solutions. Okay, that's me logged into the AWS console. Throughout the tutorial, I will be using the README steps, which I have put on the GitHub um, for this tutorial. So I will just be going down all these steps. There are screenshots in here as well, if you want to follow along that way. But don't worry, I'm taking you through everything. So back onto the console, we want to click Amazon Open Search Service. So click onto it. If it doesn't appear for you there, then type into the top, uh, Open Search and then click on Amazon Open Search. It will take you to the same page. I am working out of the Ireland region. Um, you can work out of the region that you want to, but if you want to stay on point with me, I'm in Ireland. You want to click Create Domain on the right-hand side, and you want to give your domain a name. This could be anything you want, so I'm just going to call this Tutorial um, Open Search, just so it is easy for us to follow along. Next, you want to hit development and testing. So scroll down from the open search and go to deployment type and select development and testing. Leave the latest version, that's fine. Keep scrolling down. Leave the data nodes as three AZs as default, as you can see on my screen. But at instance type, to keep this in the free search domain, if you go down to T3 small search and click OK, you can see here that the T3 instance types are only suitable for testing and development. That's exactly what we need, and it will stay inside the free tier of AWS. We don't need to worry about any of this. We want to keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down until we get to network here, and you want to click public access. This is to keep it simple for the tutorial, which means we can publicly access our open search cluster. So we're not going to worry about putting it in a VPC in this instance. We're going to leave it for public access. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and we get the fine grain access control. You want to hit create master user. We're going to log in with a username and password. Again, this is just to keep it simple for the tutorial. So select a name that you're going to remember. I'm just going to call my username, so that's easy. 
And then create a password that has to be at least eight characters long and consist of at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one number and one special character. Once you put in your passwords, remember them because we're going to need them later. Okay, scrolling down, everything else is fine. We want to hit only use uh, find access grain control. Um, so select that, only use find grain access control and move on. This is all fine. Don't need any tags. And then you want to hit create down the bottom. So this will go off and create our domain with our username and password. It can take about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm just going to pause the video here and then we'll pick it up once this has gone green and our domain has been created. Okay, that took about 15 minutes for me. And as you can see, the cluster health is now green and we successfully updated the service software version. So we're good to go. It's going to hit an X here. The next stage we are going to do uh, two, three, four, and actually five in one swift go um, throughout this tutorial. There'll be no more pauses. But to complete one of the steps, we need this JSON. To do this, I'm going to be lazy and just download all the code. So if you go to code and download a zip, it'll download that into your downloads. I'm going to double click that to open up and it's opened up on my other screen. So I'll bring it across. I'm going to get the bulk movies JSON and drop that onto my desktop. So I have the file on my desktop. That's all we needed from that. Back onto the GitHub. I'm just going to scroll back down to where we were on step number two. And you can see that we are going to upload documents. So this is how we upload the documents. There's a little bit of um, text we need to alter. Um, you want to hit copy. And then I'm just going to go back out onto this screen. I always keep a little text editor open at the side so I can copy and paste into. So this time I'm using Visual Studio Code because it makes it easier. Once pasted in, you want to change your username over to what we entered, which is username. And then you want to change your password to the password that you entered. So in my case, it was one, two, one, that. I kept mine very simple, as you can see. We also need to update this domain endpoint to what our domain endpoint has been created under. So if you go back on to Amazon Open Search Service, you can see that we'll have a domain endpoint right there. So you want to highlight that and copy that. You then want to go back and you want to change what I've highlighted there to that endpoint, but make sure you keep the rest of that. So it should be a forward slash movies, which is our index we're going to create at our document. Okay, after we've made those changes, you want to select that whole row again. You want to use Control A to highlight everything and Control C to copy. Jumping onto another window, I have opened up a terminal. So if you're on Mac, uh, you just type in terminal and it will come up like that for you. Or if you're on Windows, then use the command line on Windows. You want to paste that in and you can see what we're doing is that we're using our username and password, go to the endpoint and insert this movie. Hit enter, it'll go off and insert that. As you can see, you get bounced back that it was created. Excellent. Next thing we want to do is do a bulk upload so going to um github again going down into point two you can see that we can do multiple documents this time instead of uh the actual movie being listed out like this it's looking for a file called bulk documents.json so let's copy this um again let's go back into the working text editor i'm just going to take a couple of new lines to make this simple we then need to update the part where it has username and password. So again, just highlight and replace is the easiest I find. And then you can see here that we need a domain endpoint, but it's going to be forward slash bulk. So you can copy from above again, but make sure that you only go from the .com back. So you don't want the movies and you don't want the doc bit of this URL. You're just looking the bit that we copied and pasted the first time. You want to delete that out and you want to paste in. Okay, perfect. Highlight this row and copy and paste. Keep things simple, I put that file on my desktop, so it's sitting on my desktop. However, currently, if I do the path, I'm sitting in a, a different location. So I'm just going to change directory to that path. So CD, uh, where we currently are, forward slash desktop for me. And we should go to our desktop. If I do PWD, you'll see I'm in my desktop. So all I need to do now is copy and paste and hit enter. And that went and actually inserted all the movies for us. So if you're not familiar with command line, what I did was I changed the location of my command line to my desktop. I have the file called bulk movies JSON on my desktop that I downloaded. And then I just inserted it by running the command that we did. Perfect. Back onto the next step of the tutorial. 
So looking at how to get a document actually back out or how to actually search for something using the API, you can see here that we're going to search for a movie with Mars in the title. So let me just copy and paste that out. Next thing we want to do is just take a couple of new lines. So if I take a couple of new lines and paste. You can see here that we're going to go to movies, then search, then look for what has Mars in the title. And this little bit here is just to make sure it looks pretty when it comes back. So we're looking for a title or a row that has Mars in, in the document. Um, so it's also a get request, as you can see. So again, we need to do the replacement bit. So I'm just gonna copy and paste because this is why I have the text editor open makes it easier. So with an open text editor, it becomes a lot easier. Again, just looking that endpoint um, is TTPS URL. Again, be really careful not to copy like the bulk bit out and copy and then paste that in and it will go and search our uh, documents that we've inserted. And we will get back the fact that, um, that Mars Attacks, which is a movie, from Tim Burton uh, has Mars in the document. So it has Mars in the title, as you can see there. Okay, that's that bit. The next thing we're gonna do is look at the UI for open search in the, or the open search dashboards. So we can search visually rather than using APIs, which may be suitable for your end users. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, section four. I'm gonna take you through everything again, but you can see here that you have to go to this part of your dashboards. There's an easy way to do this. Back onto the console, it's sitting right there on the right hand side. Click it and it'll load up your dashboard for the first time. You're going to have to log in, same username and password as before. So username and then my password. Oh, I entered that in wrong. That should be me. It takes a little second. Logs you in. Don't click anything else apart from explore on my own. We want a global tenant and hit confirm. Next thing we want to do is go on to the left hand side and you want to go to discover. So left hand side hamburger discover. It will state that there are no index patterns currently. That's fine. Hit create pattern. You want to see uh, a pattern for movies. So this is what we've inserted so far using the command line. And what we want to do is type in movie and hit next step. This is all fine. Create index pattern. Okay, you can see then that it brings up our uh, fields that we can search on. And then on the left hand side, let's get some visuals up. You want to go hamburger, you want to go back to discover. This time you will see we're in our movies pattern. And you can see what we've inserted from that JSON and via the com command line as well. And this is the part where we can start to search. So on the top ha left hand side, you can type in something like hopper, and then enter and it goes off and searches and highlights where it finds hopper. If you want to get back so you have a clear index, just hit enter after you clear it. Let's say this time we are trying to find the title US Marshals. So just I'm going to be lazy and copy and paste. And that's how you find US Marshals. So that's the start of it. You can start to do more clever things like search for actors as well, like actors that have Lee in the name. And you can have Lee and Jones if you're looking for that. And you can see that that starts to work as well. Okay, what I advise you to do next is to play around with the different search functionality at the top here. Just typing in different names and patterns that you're looking for. Um, I haven't put that in the tutorial. I'll leave that to you. But once you're you're done uh, with the uh, cluster itself, the next thing you need to do, the last thing you should do is close it down or shut it down and delete it. That's simple. Back onto the console and all you want to do is hit delete. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to delete this um, cluster? type in the name of the cluster to confirm and delete. And make sure you delete the service because that will actually stop the EC2s going outside of the free tier once they've been on for an extended period of time. Okay, folks, that is everything for this tutorial. Please check out the links in the description below. And until next time, thanks for watching.